Are you insane? Get out of here! The curse is real! This whole place is a trap! I'm David Gansel, and welcome to Armchair Imagineering. past I pitched Halloween mazes for the park that only does seasonal overlays, but now I'd like to pitch Halloween overlays for the park that only does mazes. That's right, we're talking Universal Studios Hollywood. The closest thing to Halloween overlays they've ever done are Jurassic Park in the Dark, which is barely an overlay, the Terror Tram, which is just using the ride vehicle to get to a different walkthrough experience, and Slaughter World, which wasn't a ride overlay, so for the purposes of this video, they've never done a Halloween ride overlay before. So I'm gonna pitch Halloween overlays for every ride at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm focusing on Hollywood because I haven't been back to Orlando in 11 years, but obviously some of these rides exist on both coasts, so their overlays should too. Let's get started. Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash. This is the only dark ride Universal Hollywood has, and kids need a family-friendly dark ride for their enjoyment. So I don't think the move here is to do a scary Halloween overlay, but a fun one for children. Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash is now Secret Life of Pets Trick or Treat. All of the apartments in the queue are decorated for Halloween, and all of the pets are dressed up in adorable pet costumes. You know at least four of them are going to be minions. The broad beats of the ride are the same, but instead of getting you ready to get adopted, the pets are getting you ready to go trick-or-treating. And the party at the end is a Halloween party. Only slightly different dialogue and all the pets in cute costumes. What's not to love? Despicable Me Minion Mayhem! It starts out like the ride is normal, but then something goes wrong early on. And whatever happens in the movie that turns minions into those evil purple minions, turns the other minions into those evil purple minions. And we and the handful of other minions who aren't transformed are now being chased by the scary purple minions. It's still wacky slapstick happenings, but now with a clear antagonist out to get us, lurking around every corner. Silly Swirly! Spooky Swirly is the same ride as Silly Swirly, but it spins backwards. And it has a soundtrack of the Minion singing Monster Mash. The Minion Mash, if you will. DreamWorks Theater! For Halloween, instead of a Kung Fu Panda adventure, it's a Monsters vs. Aliens adventure? I've never seen Monsters vs. Aliens, but it was the DreamWorks animation title that seemed the most Halloween-y. There's even a pre-existing Monsters vs. Aliens Halloween special that I presume they could just show in this theater. It wouldn't be taking full advantage of the screen, but when has that ever stopped Universal before? Alternately, they could show the pre-existing Shrek Halloween special, since the other thing that's packaged on Netflix with those two specials was already shown at this location for far too long. See, if DreamWorks still had the Aardman deal, I'd say this should be an attraction featuring the Were-Rabbit, but alas. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey! Oh, yeah, this one. Thinking about this franchise is scary enough, considering what a monster its creator turned out to be. I guess the ride already has dragons, spiders, and dementors, so the Halloween overlay would involve changing the screens between those things to further emphasize the horror elements. No more friendly Gryffindors guiding you around. You're now on the run from Azkaban, and they're sending all their forces after you. And you hide from the dementors in the Forbidden Forest, but you nope out of there when you see the spiders and the whopping willow. But the Dementors catch up with you right away, without the respite of Malfoy snarking at fake Weird Al, and the Dementors chase you into the Chamber of Secrets. It's basically the same ride, but without any of the friendly faces helping out, and instead of being welcomed back and praised for your bravery, at the end you hide out in an empty Hogwarts, and only Peeve shows up to tauntingly warn you that you can't hide forever. Flight of the Hippogriff. The Halloween Flight of the Hippogriff is Fright of the Hippogriff. It's the same as normal Flight of the Hippogriff, but Buckbeak is dead. The animatronic bowing to you is now just a corpse. Happy Halloween! The World Famous Studio Tour! Like I said, most years at night the tour is repurposed into the Terror Tram, but that's just taking the tram vehicle along a different route to bring the guests to a different experience. How do we Halloweenify the regular daytime studio tour? There's already Jupiter's Claim, a 3D dinosaur attack, an animatronic dinosaur attack, a shark attack, an alien-induced plane crash, and Norman Bates on the tour. Now let's spookify the other attractions. The water in Flash Blood and Earthquake is dyed blood red. And instead of the Fast and Furious gang, supercharged screens now show you racing against joyriding purgers out on purge night trying to run you off the road. The Simpsons Ride. 
obviously what's needed here is a Treehouse of Horror overlay. Kang and Kodos are already briefly in the ride, so let's expand their presence. Instead of Sideshow Bob hijacking Krusty Land and sending us through theme park gags and iconic Springfield locales, Kang and Kodos invade Krusty Land and send us through classic Treehouse of Horror set pieces. You'd fly past a murderous Krusty doll, a bus gremlin, Homer as a jack-in-the-box, basically every Twilight Zone parody, making this the second time I've pitched a better Twilight Zone attraction than Tower of Terror. Then finally, instead of the devil who cameos in the ride as we know it, we'd get an appearance from Devil Flanders. A silent appearance, of course. Even in our blue skying, Harry's not going to change his mind about doing voices for the ride. Revenge of the Mummy. Oh, when I started this, I forgot how many of these already have a Halloween-like element in them. Didn't really think what a challenge it would be for some to make a distinct Halloween version. So yeah, it's a monster ride, and arguably doesn't need any tweaking for the season. But what if it had some mood lighting that made everything look a little more desaturated, and used the soundtrack from the original 1932 Mummy movie? If this coast isn't gonna at least have the joy of Brendan Fraser yelling about his cup of coffee, there's zero reason to keep this in the Somerverse instead of the classic Monsterverse. And of course, during Halloween, we gotta bring back the Living Statues characters who used to very occasionally be in the exit hallway. Of course, we could also do the Dark Universe Mummy overlay, where we remove the music and just add jarringly loud Foley work. <laughs> Jurassic World. It's already a scary dinosaur ride. How do you Halloween it up? Easy, with an in-universe Halloween overlay. The movie purported that Jurassic World is basically a universal park already, with a Margaritaville and a Jimmy Fallon on-ride video, so doesn't it make sense that Jurassic World would have its own halloween Saurus nights? So the premise of the Halloween overlay of the Jurassic World ride is that you're riding the Halloween overlay of the Jurassic World River Adventure. At the beginning of the ride, there are some cheesy characters on the riverbank goofily reaching out towards your boat because characters on the side of a water ride is an intrinsically silly idea. Sorry, Knots, I know you tried briefly. But toward the end of the ride, you'd see the mangled corpses of characters that have already been attacked by the Irex and maybe a mannequin of a dead character hanging out of the first Irex head's mouth. The Irexes on this ride have been futzed with so many times since opening, what's one more addition? Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. There's already some boo presence on this ride, but let's go all out for Halloween and make it a Luigi's Mansion ride. All it would take is an adjustment to the AR and the screens. Instead of the other racers, you're seeing ghosts. And instead of launching shells at them, pushing the buttons sucks them up with the vacuum. It's just Luigi's Mansion in a Mario Kart for reasons. And in some places that aren't in a mansion. Roll with it. Transformers The Ride 3D. I was never a Transformers kid, so I don't really know off the top of my head if there's halloween -y elements to draw from the Transformers lore. I googled Transformers Ghost and found a very detailed Transformers wiki page on the subject, which reminded me that there is a comic book that's a Transformers and Ghostbusters crossover. Universal, I'm pretty sure you still have the Ghostbusters theme park rights, don't you? Transformers slash Ghostbusters The Ride 3D. Transformers slash Ghostbusters The Ride 3D. Transformers slash Ghostbusters The Ride 3D. The plot of the comic involves an Autobot named Ectotron who comes to Earth pursuing Decepticons and transforms into the Ectomobile before meeting the Ghostbusters. Ectotron might be the property of IDW Comics and may require a separate license that isn't worth pursuing, but the idea of Decepticon Ghost has got to be the property of Hasbro, right? So you're going through Nest and they discover that not only only are Decepticons attacking, but Ghost Decepticons are attacking. So they send out the beacon for reinforcements, and they get a call from the Ghostbusters. That cast is hard to assemble, so this part of the pre-show might have to be animated. Sure, why not? Let's triple the number of roles Frank Welker has in this ride. So you ride evac and follow the Ectomobile around while they're shooting proton packs at giant ghost robots. And I know he wasn't actually in the comic, but one of those giant screens has got to have the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, right? Then at the end, not only does Optimus congratulate you for your bravery saving the planet, but Ray makes you an honorary Ghostbuster. And then Venkman makes some wisecrack that deflates the emotion of the scene because that's just what he does. And those are the ride overlays I would add to Universal Hollywood during Halloween. Alongside all the mazes and other stuff they do. But what about you? What Halloween ride overlays do you wish Universal Hollywood would implement? And you have ideas for the Universal Orlando rides that aren't in Hollywood? 
Let us discuss this all in the comments. And until next time, this is Dave signing off.